Skill Byte here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot an MSD ignition. Specifically, this is a 6AL, part number 6425. So the engine's not turning over easy, and there's no spark. And I think it's just the voltage issue. These things have to have 12 volts, or they will not spark. But we'll go through the troubleshooting and see what we get. First thing to check, there's a little light there. When you turn the ignition to on, it should flash five times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And actually that first one may just be because it got initial power and then it flashed five times. Or did it flash six? So this is one of the most frustrating things about dealing with these MSD digital ignition boxes. Some of the information on these is old. And the five lights thing, yeah, that's old. That's old, old ones. The new ones, that light right there by the rev limiter. So that light, when, it, when you turn it to on, it's telling you basically what the rev limiter is set at. So mine is flashing six times because it's set at 6,000 something. Uh, I think it's 6,200. But the paper here says when the engine is not running, the LED will be on when the key is in the on position. Well, no, nothing. It's not lit up. So what does that mean? That is one thing that I don't have an answer for. I just don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to be lit up. I don't know if it's not supposed to be lit up because, well, I mean, I can tell you it's not lit up, <laughs> but it's also not doing the five flashes like some of the troubleshooting tells you. So let's go on to checking voltage. We want to check the voltage of these two wires. So my positive right here and I have it grounded right here and oh, I gotta turn the key on <laughs> key was on I just forgot to turn the kill switch on <laughs> alright so there we go positive negative to ground we got positive and we got ground 12.3 so we're good if it's less than 12, you need to figure out what's drawing the power. Also, make sure your battery is actually got 12 volts at the battery. All right, with key on, what you want to check is the small red wire going to the coil and ground. So I don't know that you can see but this is the small red wire. Key is on. And now I'm putting it on ground. 11.36 volts. So I'm losing a volt somewhere. And this will not fire unless you got 12 volts. It will not do it. Uh, well, there you go. No spark because there wasn't getting power. Got to figure out why it's not getting power. If you are getting 12 volts here with the ignition on on, go ahead and turn it over and watch. Make sure that it's still 12. If it drops below 12, the MSD is not going to fire. That, that's the, I hesitate to say weak point of the MSD but it does require 12 volts. If yours reads like six volts, it's probably because the ignition wire has got a resistor. You wanna replace that to one that does not. All right, so to test that ground on the firewall, I'm gonna use a known good positive. I'm gonna go over here, can you see? Touch it there, 12.32. I actually got as good there. So I know it's not the ground to the firewall. So 
let's just say that I still had 12 volts and it wasn't starting. So next you wanna check this, this, these two wires coming from the MSD box. It's an orange and black. And they go to the coil. Those are the only two that go to the coil. I got orange to be plus and the black one to C minus. They are tight and the ground, as we know, is already good. Okay, so those are there. Next, if you're using the white wire, then follow it, make sure that it is connected. Mine is just taped off because I'm not using it on this HEI. So in my case, I'm using the magnetic pickup, green and purple, make sure that it's connected through there. And <laughs> this is magnetic. Keep it away from your wires. This is ugly how I have it routed. However, this being near your plug wires will actually keep them from firing. Ask me how I know. Yeah, that's why it's laying like it is. And inside here, if yours hasn't been working or if you've had this off, open it up, make sure that these wires are still connected. If you have a regular coil, I've got HEI, so I don't just have easy access. I mean, I could take that out. And anyway, if you've got a regular coil, you can take the white wire here and take your coil wire off, hold it like a half inch from a ground source so not your carburetor <laughs> so over here maybe yeah there's a fuel line all right hold it somewhere safe right and don't touch it don't be between it and take you'll take this and you'll actually you'll unplug it and you'll touch it to a ground and that is supposed to trigger it i'm not going to show that one because I can't, I don't have a regular coil to do that with. You can also obviously check and see if you are getting spark at the plug by pulling off a plug and then putting like a screwdriver in there and holding it, you know, a quarter inch or so from a ground, turn it over and see if it actually sparks. So those are a couple options. If you're using this, what you actually do is you use a paper clip and you short it. So you'll unplug that and you'll short the two wires using the paper clip and that's supposed to create a spark. Also, that light right there, every time it sparks, it should flicker. So if you're not seeing that when you turn it over, well, well guess what, it's not sparking. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. I got more work to do, and I found a coolant leak, and may have a bad fuel pump, and I gotta be honest, I think this Chevelle is cursed. <laughs> Alright, well I hope it was helpful, if so please like, subscribe, comment, and better luck with yours.